This thing is sick. This is stupid, y'all. Guys of the lake that I, I fish out here are gonna, they're gonna lose their minds. They are literally gonna lose their minds. What's up cousins? We are in Coleman, Alabama and Nate Eckle from Tiny Boat Nation Midwest and Jeremy from 24 seven boats drove all the way down from Illinois. And what we got behind us is Jordan Lee's brand new 10 rig and we're gonna be giving it to him tonight. It all started with a Facebook post that Jordan made last summer seeking recommendations for small boat work. Big shout out to everyone in the comments section for tagging Nate at TBN Midwest, Ryan and Chris at TBN Southeast, and myself here at Brigade Boats. Ultimately, Nate was the man for the job, but how did we get here? Well, you have to go years back to Nate building his first custom boats out of his garage in Illinois. He quit his job. He turned his hobby to his profession. His first boat shop was in a tiny old oil change building. He now works out of a facility 50 times that size. Nate and I have grown together in this game. He's a good mentor and a better friend. It's pretty special to go from tinkering in the garage to building a one of one for one of the biggest names in bass fishing. I'm here with a man himself, Jordan Lee, back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion, professional angler, and he is getting into the John Boat game. We're gonna take a walk through this rig. The guys at Tiny Boat Nation Midwest have pretty much done just about everything imaginable to this boat. Completely custom paint job by Jeremy at 24-7 Boats. Multiple colors, pearl, Cryptech pattern, I mean, everything you can imagine. Jordan wanted to keep things pretty simple and clean, so this has just got some hidden details in the paint, but still from a distance looks clean and mean. On the gunnels, everything's been raptor line, and you're gonna see that trend continuing throughout the boat, inside the hatch compartments, inside the cockpit, around the transom area, and even on the trailer. Now, Jeremy at 24-7 Boats also tackled the trailer. He's extended it, he's added the steps, the fenders, everything was stripped down, and then raptor lined. Also got new bunks and done lighting all over the trailer. One of the biggest details and cool factors of this boat is the custom CNC'd sea deck throughout the boat. This was routered by Southern Cooler Marine. Uh, Nate scanned this boat in-house at TB Nation Midwest, and they offer turf jobs. If you're in that area, they can scan your boat and design something up and give you something as killer as this for your rig. You got the old Tohatsu on the back end of this Sir, thing. <laughs> more reliable is what I call her. Not the prettiest, but she gets the job done. Hey, that's all that counts. So up front, um, I just went pretty basic. I went with the Minn Kota Four Treks. Uh, but she is brand new, which I'm excited about. I have the Lowrance uh, HDS Live 12 up front. Also, we have the Active Target hooked up as well. So I'm gonna be out there scoping around, looking for them. This mount as well, we got a cup holder, um, recessed trolling motor, which is something that I've always wanted uh, on a on a John boat. So I'm excited about that. We got a cooler, is this a cooler up yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, so over here we've got a cooler built in so Jordan can keep all his drinks cold on the water. That's what I'm talking about. It's even got a drain in there. And then, like Jordan mentioned, we've got this graph mount by TB Nation. And we've also got that recessed tray for the foot pedal on the troller motor. Over there is a small day box. We won't access it right now because the troller motor needs to be deployed to get all the way in there. Jordan, pop your rod locker, yeah, man. Yeah, let's take a look over here. This rod locker is super clean. Um, got the C deck in here. Have a ton of uh, rod storage right here. He's telling me eight foot rods on the top right here. So my punching sticks can slide them in and out. This is a big compartment right here. All the tackle that I can imagine, I mean, uh, can go in here. I mean, I can fit way more than I need up here. So plenty of storage. That's going to be awesome. Stay pretty dry, I can imagine, too. Yeah, all the lids have anti-flood tracks, so nice. when water comes in on a rainy day out in the monsoon, it's going to roll in here, it's going to go to this track, and it's going to feed crazy. in this tube. It's going to be directed underneath the subfloor to the channels to the back of the boat to the bilge. And, of course, that rafter liner continues inside of all these hatches, so Jordan could throw all his junk in there and beat it to hell if he wants to. You know I'm not going gonna to. Chip. You know I'm going to do that. That's why y'all did that for me. I appreciate that. Yep, got to have the shout out. Monster Marine Lithium, uh, they make some incredible batteries. Uh, 
this is a 24 volt 60 amp hour um, lithium that's going to have plenty of juice you'll also notice nate doesn't leave any detail left untouched check this out look we're custom george, look where george's gonna be planting his boat drum custom embroidery right there jay lee i can plant down on there at night and sit my little skinny butt down <laughs> What do we got over here? Just whatever. <laughs> we got we got another I storage. Mean, I don't even know what to do with all this storage, guys. He's got more storage in his 15-foot jamba than yeah. his tournament boat. I mean, yeah, I can put Baker in here when he's a little older and he wants to hide from the rain <laughs> or I guess rain suits anything. I mean, we got more storage, guys, more storage. Of course, he's got his uh, nav and stern light in here mounted nice and tight and secure. And you know, one thing as we're going back here too, I mean, we can, we're gonna look at all the lights, but before I didn't have any room back here for my partner. That was always a problem. Cause I was like, man, they don't even want to come fish with me. So I got plenty of room back here. They can stand and fish. This boat was almost completely gutted down to bare bones and reframed and tube frame, aluminum, all welded. And then a majority of these lids were custom built for this project in particular, but there are some stock sizes available on tinyboatnation.net if you're interested in doing your own project. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to show all the, oh, oh yeah, we're gonna light it up, baby. Let's check this live well out right here. Now this is, they went overboard. They, they went next level, I should say. This is really, really cool. Here's the live well. I mean, a giant live well for the meat that I'm gonna be putting in this thing. And somehow they have engraved this, uh, got the logo, Tiny Boat Nation logo. And of course my phrases that I say, either this lake sucks or find your own fish. And they got this engraved on here. Put your fish in here, get them out easy open this up check on them they're not going to be jumping out but yep. this is cool dude this is the coolest live well i've ever seen in my life like nate completely killed it on this one um it looks way better than i ever imagined when he told me the idea and how they were going to try to make the splash guard out of this acrylic and engrave it it's uh definitely one of a kind that's the coolest live well i've ever seen on any boat nobody's got that nobody's got that that's that's awesome Dude, now all the other pro anglers out there got to up your game because you see this is what Jordan's bringing. He's bringing the juice. I may just take this boat. I don't know. I think about taking it to the first derby of the year. You might as well, dude. I might as well. I mean, got everything you need. Watch out, Keith Pochet. I'm coming for you. <laughs> battery, battery charger, Monster Marine. I've just been a huge fan of their brand. Run them on my big boats too. So we got the two bank dual charger and we got a 12 volt over there. Uh, looks like we got fuses, breakers, um, just really clean back here. This is where the gas tank's gonna go right here. I'm gonna put one in obviously before I go to the lake, but just a clean, clean boat build. Yeah, it's clean, man. Cle I gotta do a sponsored plug, um, TH Marine. Uh, they really helped us out a lot on this boat build. All the lighting for inside these compartments, um, all blue water LEDs, and you know the latches come from TH Marine. Um, really, all the the drainage plugs, anything like that, man. Um, if you're doing one of these boat builds, check check them out because they have pretty much everything you need um, for the most part. I mean, you can do a one stop shop. Um, so definitely had have to give TH Marine a shout out. You get the family out and the old Johnny out on the water and yeah, I guess, I guess your son's going to have a boat one day. Yeah, my son's, you know, he's turned two in October, so he's got a little time, but I think he's definitely, if he's going to fish at all, this boat's not going anywhere anytime soon. So he's going to have a pretty sweet ride. Yeah, he's going to have creep one, around. He's going to have one of the sweetest aluminum yeah, rigs in the, in the United he's States. He's going to be spoiled to say the least. <laughs> this thing is killer, man. Yeah, it's killer. Um, so I, I really appreciate y'all and, and the job y'all did. This is it's next level. All right, guys, we're going to send Jordan on his way. We did not expect to be filming this video at midnight in a parking lot of a hotel in Coleman, Alabama, but we want to take it out on the water, get some footage. But guess what? We got a monsoon coming tomorrow, so we had to switch gears and just make this thing happen tonight to be at least be able to give you guys a walkthrough. Thanks a lot, Jordan. Dude, 
thank y'all. Every one of y'all. Y'all killed it. Y'all nice. knocked it out of the park. I'm just blown away. Um, I really, when I when I gave this boat to y'all, to and y'all were like, y'all had the vision. Y'all knew what y'all were gonna do. I didn't. I'm just we like, y'all had the plan we in y'all's really. mind. But I'm, this is probably the most blown away I've ever been on anything custom. I've never had anything custom done like this, and it's just, uh, it's it's beyond what I could imagine. So. Thank y'all. This boat is out there. Jordan's gonna be fishing it in the first derby. Good luck this season, <laughs> man. Yeah. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Say anything, y'all. This is what we do. This is what y'all do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did do some consulting for Nate. Did a we couple. Are cousins. I did look at the Katoma bass are really gonna have to fear me now. So what we got out here, Jordan? We got blooper. <laughs> <laughs> find your own fish, guys. Well, you made me take it out of the deck. You so. gotta find your own fish. That's key, right here. He said, "I'm not gonna find my own fish. I'm using your waypoints." Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> my waypoints are useless. This is a really cool toy. I'll tell you that right now. I'm impressed. It, it's hard to impress me too, but this well, is impressive. I mean, they they out, outdid themselves on this. This is probably this is the coolest thing I've ever owned. I mean, I'm a big boat guy. You know, obviously love my Rangers, but for the lakes around here, I mean, I grew up fishing these lakes where I learned to fish. Never had anything. It, remotely this nice so I'm not gonna know what to do with myself we'll take care of it and who knows Baker I mean this is gonna be his boat probably one day so just taking it all in just, just awesome <laughs>